Let me be real honest with you. And I, I, you know, I don't think anybody on talk radio, I don't think anybody in their right mind is going to ever say this out loud. But I wonder if I'm the only one that feels this way. You know, it took me about a year to start hating the 9-11 victims' families. It took me about a year. Um, and I had such compassion for them, and I really, you know, I wanted to help them, and I was behind, you know, let's give them money, let's get started, you know, all of this stuff. And I really didn't, you know, all the 3,000 victims' families, I don't hate all of them. I hate about probably about 10 of them. And, but when I see, you know, 9-11 victim family, you know, on, on television or whatever, I'm just like, oh, shut up. I'm so sick of them because they're always complaining, and we did our best for them. And it, again, it's only about 10. But the second thought that I had when I saw these people and they had to shut down the Astrodome and lock it down, I thought, I didn't think I could hate victims faster than the 9-11 victims. These guys, when you see, and you know, it's really sad. We're not hearing anything about Mississippi. We're not hearing anything about Alabama. We're, we're, here, um, uh, we're hearing uh, about the uh, victims in New Orleans. This is a 90,000 square mile disaster site. New Orleans is 181 square miles. 108.2% of the disaster area is New Orleans. And that's all we're hearing about are the people in New Orleans. Those are the only ones that we're seeing on television are the scumbags. Again, and it's not all of the people in New Orleans. Most of the people in New Orleans got out. It's just a, a small percentage of those who were left in New Orleans or who decided to stay in New Orleans, and they're getting all of the attention. It's exactly like the 9-11 victims' families. There's about 10 of them that are spoiling it for everybody.